Ni hao everybody, welcome back to Asian Screens and More. The next drama I'm going to talk about is a Chinese drama called Dream Garden. The air date was on December 13th, 2021 and it's running until February 1st with 16 episodes. The drama is with Gong Chun, who plays Lin Chen, and his English name is Simon. And some of you might know him from the drama Begin Again, where the male and female roles are reversed. So he plays a really nice doctor, and the actress is a domineering CEO. Simon's partner in Dream Garden is Xiao Xin. Her English name is Bridget, and she plays Xiao Xiao. I haven't watched any of her dramas, so I can't say much about her. Have you guys seen any of her dramas? And would you recommend watching any of them? So in Dream Garden, Xiao Xiao believes she's something of an expert when it comes to matters of the heart. She's the blogger behind a popular social media account which addresses all sorts of relationship issues. And Xiao Xiao has no shortage of experience when it comes to love. However, all of her experiences online can prepare for her first encounter with Lin Shen, a professional psychological counselor who sees the world in an entirely different way. After the two have a disagreement during a popular love variety show, due to their differences in concepts, Xiao Xiao hopes that she would never see that she would never have to deal with Lin Shen ever again. But fate, it would seem, had other plans. So hoping to improve her ability to analyze emotional problems by learning from a true professional, Xiao Xiao applies for a position as a professional psychologist assistant. Only too late does she realize that the professional she's working for is none other than the cold-hearted Lin Chen. Despite their initial differences, they come to not only respect each other but they learn that by working together they can help their clients overcome a number of serious problems and also in working and living together to solve a number of psychological cases and issues around them. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, whether I'll watch this drama, I'd give this one a 7 or 8. The reason why I can't make up my mind is because I have mixed feelings about the plot. So, who knows, I might give this drama a chance, but I can see myself dropping it if I get bored up with the story. Anyway, what about you guys? Are you watching this one already? Are you skipping this? Why or why not? As always, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and come back again for more updates on Asian dramas and movies. Bye for now.